The main things the general public should know about red mulberry is first of all it is endangered. It's very rare. It has a very limited population in Ontario. So you're more likely to see a white mulberry or hybrid when you're going for your hike or your dog walk or even some trees you might see popping up at the edge of the city. It's pretty difficult to tell a red mulberry and a white mulberry apart. If you're seeing one in an urban setting, the odds are it's a white mulberry. Uh, Small-scale native plant nurseries or permaculture nurseries are sometimes selling red mulberries when they are actually uh, white mulberries. And one of the other things that uh, can confuse people is that white mulberry doesn't always have white berries. Most of the ones growing naturalized in Ontario actually have a dark uh, red purplish berry like our red mulberries. So a lot of people innocently enough will look at the fruits and say, oh, it's got purplish berries, so it must be red mulberry. The white mulberries and red mulberries hybridize really, really readily. So the odds are if you're seeing one that looks red, it could easily be a hybrid. But red mulberries do have a rougher leaf surface versus a white mulberry, which has a glossy, shiny upper leaf surface. And the bark is a little bit different. A white mulberry will have an orange tinge to the bark, especially towards the base of the tree. If someone has a white mulberry tree on their property, uh, the best thing they can do is become educated. And if these trees are very close by to natural red mulberry populations, you may want to consider removing the trees. Uh, as someone who loves trees, you never want to remove a tree that's, that's healthy. Um, but also keeping in mind the long-term implications of invasive species and how they can cause ecological harm to our native species. Guelph is not within the native range of red mulberries, but we are trying to create uh, ex situ conservation. And one of the things that we're trying to do is to propagate pure red mulberry trees in order to get them back on the landscape. But before we propagate them, we need to really know for certain that they're not hybrids. The testing overall provides, I think, a lot of information back to the partners, because one of the things that they're looking to do is to remove white mulberry trees remove hybrids from the landscape. So as much as you might love a white mulberry in your front yard, they're very popular. If you are living in an area that's close by to native red mulberry populations, so the Niagara region, the Golden Horseshoe, the Hamilton Halton area, uh, the Essex County areas near Point Pelee and, and, um, and Pelee Island, um, really try to avoid planting those ornamental trees as well. We are working hard to establish uh, genetic backups of trees to help buffer and protect the wild populations with uh, hopes of being able to reintroduce in the future to our partners and also to folks who do want to grow these trees again someday and knowing that they can work with something here. It really inspires me to be able to work with uh, a native species that is endangered and know that we are making steps towards getting the populations to be increased in the long run. Um, I find that really fulfilling.